If you ever find yourself on the Scarlowy Railway and hear the distant echo of a diesel horn, chances are it's rusty, a small but very kind rail inspection engine, and an essential part to the Scarlowy Railway fleet. Well, depending on who you ask. Send rusty packets, send rusty packets, snorted Duncan. Just like the other narrow gauge characters we've taken a look at, he and the models we watched of him have a bit of history to them, and today we'll finally be taking a look at his. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the history of Rusty. As an engine, Rusty is based on the Tallyclin Railway's number 5 locomotive, that being Midlander. And like many of the other engines on the railway, Midlander has been used to represent Rusty in real life. In terms of the railway series, however, Rusty is the number 5 on the Scarlowy Railway. He's described as friendly, calm, and caring, unlike most of the other diesels on the island. And his name, Rusty, is actually a nod to his builders, Rustin and Hornsby. He first appeared in the railway series book The Little Old Engine, which was published in 1959, and his last appearance was in New Little Engine, which was published in 1996. In 1995, Rusty was finally introduced to Thomas and Friends, well, the TV show, this being in the fourth season. And like most of the other narrow gauge engines, his livery from the railway series did not transfer over to the television series. While in the railway series he was painted black, in the show he was painted orange, presumably to match his name. But this also could be done due to him being a maintenance engine. This has nothing to do with his model, but according to a New York Times article from 1995, Britt Allcroft intended to make Rusty gender neutral, and because of this, the fourth season episodes removed or completely changed any instance of Rusty being referred to in any gender-specific pronoun. Instead, throughout seasons 4-7, to seven, Rusty is referred to as the Little Diesel, or by name. It wasn't until season 9 that Rusty was referred to in gender-specific pronouns, that being in Tuneful Toots and Duncan and the Old Mine. The UK dub referred to Rusty as a male, whereas the original US dub referred to Rusty as a female. The US dub was later edited for their DVD releases, now identifying Rusty as a male. In terms of his actual models, we're gonna have to jump straight to the TV series. Unfortunately, Audrey didn't have a model of Rusty made, but like we normally do, I think it's best we start with his O-Gage model, more specifically the small-scale one. This model, like the others, was custom built and made from brass, that being done by Peter Eaves, and this model ran on O-Gage track to the Gage 1 scale standard, so they would actually appear as narrow gauge when next to Thomas, Percy, or the other characters. The paint seen on Rusty is glossy car body paint, and he's lined with yellow Electroline pinstripe taping. The number and nameplates were custom printed stickers, and Rusty's wheels were sourced from unspoked SM32 quarry Hunslet wheels, which were made by Slater's Plastic Art. The wheels themselves were used on an O-Gage chassis, and the buffers he wears were also sourced from Slater's Plastic Art, with most of the engines using the square-based short-sprung buffers. Rusty would have eight different facial expressions made for him, but only seven were ever seen on screen. His horrified face was left completely unused, and compared to the other engines, there's no real new story in Rusty's faces. They were first sculpted in clay, and from that, resin casts were made using a silicone mold. The model had a motor to power it inside of its chassis. While this may be the small scale model, and in real life Rusty is based on a pretty small locomotive, Rusty in the show is nearly twice the size of his basis, which was done so his eye mechanism and motor could be accommodated. Even with that being done, there was still no room to fit a battery or a receiver, which both were needed for his RCIs. Instead, these were normally hidden off camera, or carried in a carriage behind the locomotive. The small scale model was predominantly used in the fourth season. It was sometimes used in season 5, mostly for between shots, but also made another appearance via stock footage in the seventh season, that being in Trusty Rusty. The small scale model would make its last appearance, however, in Calling All Engines, a 2005 special, where in Thomas's dream sequence he is seen with Lady. And while that may have been the last time he was ever seen on screen, as of April 2020, Rusty's small scale model, along with his name board, is now owned and preserved by Twitter user Thomas Tank Merch. Thankfully, a very happy ending to a wonderful model. From that we move on to Rusty's large-scale model, which was introduced in Season 5. From Season 6 to 12, these models were used almost exclusively, and were all initially built for ease of filming and reliability. Altogether, they were close to 16mm scale, but just slightly larger. This model of Rusty would have 11 different facial expressions made for it, and believe it or not, all 11 were actually used on screen. There is something to be noted with these faces, however, and that is this face is much larger than his previous model. Personally, I don't see it as too big of a deal, but like many others, I prefer the smaller face and find this one to be a bit jarring, but I digress. The rest of the model was made from brass, with the wheels and the entire chassis being CNC. 
The model itself was track powered, so pickup contacts were attached to his metal wheels, which ran into the motor to actually power him. It's not known exactly when, but sometime during Season 8's production, Rusty received a completely new chassis. Being that this model was so much larger, he actually had a proper eye mechanism, which ran on two servos, one for up and down movement and one for left and right movement. The eyeballs themselves were coupled to the bracket and locked in place by the faceplate, so whenever the servos were powered, the eyeballs would move however the crew desired. Also due to this model's larger size, he actually has an open cab, which is different from his small scale model, which had a blacked out cab. The large scale model of Rusty was previously on display at Nitrogen Studios, which is in Canada, but now currently is on display at the Hara Model Railway Museum, which is in Japan. As you likely guessed, Rusty had a close-up model built. The close-up models were essential, especially for scenes where the characters had to interact with close-up scale figures. Rusty's model was made in pieces, so whenever they needed, the crew could assemble and disassemble it. Unfortunately, like most of the close-up scale models, Rusty's was never built complete, and the actual model itself would never sport a face or really be made past his cab and the front part of his body. Unlike both of his O-Gage models, Rusty's front and back cutout windows had glass, but in Season 5, this was removed. This close-up scale model would appear in Seasons 4, 5, and 6. In the fourth season episode, Trucks, the cylinder on the front of Rusty's cab is incorrectly placed. It's actually on the back of his cab, and his engine is completely missing. In the fifth season episode, Rusty in the Boulder, which is personally my favorite episode, Rusty's close-up model was reused for Reneus, as at this time, a model of Reneus at this scale didn't exist. Better a smash than a squash. This was achieved by a close-up shot of Rusty's circular cab porthole, which up close can resemble one of Reneus's. From here, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to CGI, which honestly, I'm not even sure why I count at this point. I mean, it's technically a model, but it's not like a, a model model, whatever, let's just get into it. In 2009, the show introduced CGI, this being a replacement for the live action models. It wouldn't be until 2010 that Rusty was created for CGI, and then in 2012 actually introduced, that being in Blue Mountain Mystery. His model was quote-unquote hand-sculpted in Maya, a 3D animation and modeling software, and photographs of Rusty's large-scale model were used for referencing. According to Greg Tiernan, every detail of the original television series models is carefully reproduced in the CGI model. <laughs> the models are subjected to many rounds of review before they're submitted to Hit Entertainment, who put in the final input and approval. In addition, Nitrogen Studios actually went to the Tallyclean Railway and took photographs of Rusty's basis, Midlander, and on top of photographs of his large-scale model used these as reference. Unlike his basis, Rusty is still nearly twice the size of Midlander, and was never fitted with a different shaped radiator, like Midlander is now. Instead, he was the same larger size, and retained the original Midlander design. Which, thank god, I do not want a rebuilt Rusty. I always wondered what Rusty would look like like this, but that doesn't mean I want that to become the new canon, so good on them for making that decision. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the history of Rusty. It's a little strange that Duncan is my favorite narrow gauge character, when Rusty in the Boulder is my favorite Thomas and Friends episode of all time. Next to put up on Percy, of course. But even with that being the case, I have a special appreciation for Rusty, and every appearance he would make in the original model series. I have a special place in my heart for the narrow gauge engines, and a big portion of that is Rusty, and the episodes that revolve around him. As a character, not only is he one of the easiest to enjoy, but always had the most fun plot lines around him, and honestly, it's completely understandable why people love him so much now. He's an amazing character, and when I say thank you to you guys for voting for Rusty, I don't just mean for actually voting, I also also mean for the chance to actually talk about this guy because honestly it was a blast and hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about him there's still one bad bit warned rusty if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content and if you have an idea for who should be next be sure to comment down below and i'll do my best to add it to the next poll as always guys thanks again for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one i wish all diesels were like you let's be friends Suits me, replied Rusty. We'll mend that bad bit of rail first thing tomorrow.